I'm Jane Caffrey with ABC 15. It has been one year since a judge ordered a homeless encampment called the zone in Phoenix to be cleared out at its peak. The zone had 1000 unhoused people at last count on Tuesday, October 29th, 140 individuals were counted here. This sprawling encampment was close to services for those experiencing homelessness, but for neighboring businesses still issues with urine, feces, trash, and people wandering into our building. Freddie Brown sells caskets and funeral supplies and was part of the lawsuit that led to a court order last year that the zone get cleared out. As a small community here outside of downtown Phoenix, we kind of get forgotten. Um, when you live in an area that's only known as the zone because of the shelter, the city kind of lets it go. A year later, Brown tells us things have changed for the better, but not enough that trash and waste aren't still problems. He keeps gates locked and uses security cameras. We don't have a thousand people down here. Fixed, that's a different question. At Old Station Sub Shop, a new owner says he was inspired by the neighborhood's potential when he bought the restaurant six months ago after the zone was cleared. Generally what I'm seeing is a lot of um, return customers. Because so many, many of, of my customers are walking down here, you know, and they want to feel good. But Circle the City runs street medicine teams and says it's harder to provide care now that former zone residents are dispersed. And so we're still trying to reach out to them as best we can. They also saw an emotional toll on the people removed. That area was community for them. It was safety for them. And um, when you get dispersed like that, it can be very challenging and scary. The Office of Homeless Solutions was tasked with clearing the zone. One year later, we're still uh, trying to get people into services on a daily basis. Those include workforce development and mental health programs. Along with that, the city is investing tens of millions of dollars to bring 790 new shelter beds online in 2024 and 2025. It is never a, you know, at this point, it's over homelessness is done. This is just a part of our society that we have to be able to serve. In Phoenix, Jane Caffrey, ABC 15, Arizona.